Hello, in this video I'm going to give you a very brief explanation of how to sign up for a SurveyMonkey account and then create a, a basic survey and uh, uh, publish it. The first thing you'll do is go to SurveyMonkey.com. You will find an option there where it'll allow you to sign up for a free account. It's very limited, however it works in this uh, for this video. You'll sign up for free, you'll, get an, you'll have to enter an email, you verify the email and so on and so forth, and then your account ultimately is created. Once you've created your free account, it'll look something like this. You will have options to uh, different plans and pricing and so on, which would be needed for an actual survey because uh, this is limited to about 10 items and many other limitations, but it's a good opportunity here for us to practice. Next thing you'll do is create your survey. Once you begin to create a survey, you can start a survey from scratch, and we'll just name this test. Press create survey, and then it will take you to the screen where you can now start developing your survey. The first thing it does is it'll send you to what is a, the design survey link. You'll see here the main menu items on the left. Here's a question bank you can choose from, and then the menu that goes across uh, the top over here. You can create a, a test question here. Uh, it will allow you uh, to choose from many different options, multiple choice, slider maybe for, for age, for instance. Um, there's options in there for uh, different, you know, if you want to enter text, there's a single text box, comment box, and so on. For now, we'll just choose the multiple choice option. And here is where you would enter the various choices. Now, once you've entered your choices, uh, you do have a few other options here, like add an other option if you want to include everybody or perhaps none of the above if it may not apply to some individuals. You'll press save. And actually, we better put, uh, put an option in here so that way you can get something in there. There we go. And then you will continue along by pressing new question and your next item will come up and so on. You create all of your items. If you do, if you would like to, especially for um, demographic questions, sometimes what you're able to do is here again, you can you can do a multiple choice. Also on the left hand side, you can choose from various demographic questions. So if you just if I press add here, you'll see it automatically adds for age. However, I may not want to have them enter the age. I may want to make it easier. And then you can always edit some of the options and change that, like I said, maybe to a slider. Now, something else to consider is on the left-hand side, you have a couple different options. One I want to point out is format. The classic option, I believe, is the best for individuals to scroll down their, their smartphone or tablet or, or desktop. Uh, one question at a time, I have experience where potentially uh, individuals could miss, miss items. So I do recommend choosing classic. Now, once we're done creating our survey, we maybe want to preview it. So we'll preview here. On the bottom left, you'll see where there's these little uh, icons where you can preview on desktop, do a preview on a, on a tablet, or preview on a phone. And that, that, this is very handy to see how your survey will actually look. Also, it'll give you, uh, once you've completed it, it'll, it'll give you average response times, and, uh, and so on, which is very valuable information. Now, once you accept, once you've accepted the design of your survey, now you can begin to collect responses. You click collect response, and we'll collect send surveys your way. I prefer the share a survey link option, so we'll just use that for now. You can explore the others later. Where this, all you have to do now is copy the link and email it to people, post it on social media and what have you. I do want to point out a couple of very important options down here. Multiple responses. If you scroll over this question mark, it will explain that to you. If you want individuals, let's say there's a family and they have a computer and you want everyone to take this survey and they use the same computer, you may want to uh, select on so, that, so multiple people can take it from the same device. Also, anonymous responses, this tracks the IP address, and you may want to click this on so your responses are 100% anonymous. Now, once you're done with this, then of course you will collect your responses, and then finally you will be able to analyze your results. Analyzing results, if you have the paid feature, then you can download. I prefer to download in an, in an Excel file and then make uh, changes there. There's various ways to do that. 
uh, you can also right here experiment with what uh, what some of that data may look like by just looking at some of these options here before um, downloading it. And then um, the last feature that I want to show you here, if we click back on Design Survey, is on the bottom left, it'll say Print. You want to click on this. Here is where you can download a PDF version of your survey if you want to review that or if you need to, for instance, um, if you're at a school and you want to submit for an Institutional Review Board application, IRB, then you would want to download this. You're going to need a, a hard copy of that. So there is a general overview of SurveyMonkey and uh, some of the features on how to sign up for an account and create a survey and then ultimately publish it and print it.